When loading ribbon into your Brady Printer i7100, begin with your media already loaded and the print head open. You can view our label loading video for more information. First, we will demonstrate how to load a wide ribbon, then how to load a narrow ribbon. Prepare both of the ribbon axles by rotating the green knobs clockwise so that the axle is at its narrowest diameter. Place an empty take-up core on the front axle and secure by holding the larger cog in place while rotating the green knob counterclockwise. The ink side of the ribbon roll should always face down towards the media surface. You can check this by using a small piece of clear tape to test which side has the ink. Install the ribbon roll on the other axle and again tighten by holding the back cog while rotating the green knob counterclockwise. Now thread the ribbon under the print head assembly, behind the anti-static brush, underneath the take-up core, and over the top. The ribbon will be wrinkled when you first load it. Feed the ribbon onto the take-up core by rotating the axle counterclockwise until the ribbon is smooth and flat over the print head. Then, use the green lever to close the print head, and you're ready to print! When printing on narrow media, it's best to use a narrow ribbon. To properly center the ribbon, use the graduated marks on the axle as a guide. If you stand at the front of the printer, you can also visually align the ribbon with the pre-installed media. Once centered, tighten the axle to secure the ribbon roll in place, and then follow the remaining steps the same as with loading wide ribbon. It's also important to change the print roller to match the size of the ribbon. Check out our ribbon roller video for more details.